Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to take you behind the scenes of my latest project, creating a unique anime design for a t-shirt. If you are an anime fan like me, you know how powerful and inspiring these characters and stories can be. In this video, I'll walk you through my creative process from creating the design and getting it ready for print. And for today's video, I'm using the Creative Fabrica Studio platform. They have recently updated their platform and they have now the studio, the vectorizer, the transfer and the flow. The vectorizer enables you to convert images to vectors. The transfer allows you to send large files and the flow allows you to create the AI images. So let's press on the flow. Now we have this placement where you can enter your prompt and you can also choose the dimensions of the image I prefer to use the portrait 3 by 4 for t-shirt designs and then you can choose the style either a transparent or a full background design and you can also choose the style from among uh, different styles that is provided by Creative Fabrica Flow you can also see the generated images that were created by other people using the Creative Fabrica Studio or the Creative Fabrica Flow and you can expand the platform to see more of these images. If you press on any of, the, of these images you can see the prompt that was used and the flow of creating this image and how it was developed until the final image and that's why it's called Creative Fabrica Flow. So let's press on the plus sign to create our image for today's design. I'm going to enter um, a prompt. First, let's choose a transparent background and a cartoon style. The prompt that I'm using is an old bald man standing and leaning on a stick, wearing sunglasses and a short and a jump jacket detailed illustration detailed illustration anime style i'm going to choose the portrait dimension and press on the generate button this is this is the prompt that i started at the beginning and this is the images that i got the style is perfect but this is not what i am really looking for i'm looking for an old man but in a more of a fighter style but I like the, uh, the vector images that were created. So I'll start updating the prompt with some ec extra words to get and keep generating images until I get what I'm looking for. So I added some extra words like in an orange and black outfit with white beard and white huge moustache in the style of Akira Toriyama just an anime style just a, an anime style and added anime style and I'll keep updating the prompt and generating more and more images I like the one on the right but it's more of a, a Santa style <laughs> Not, not of a, a fighter or a ninja guy. So I'm going to press on it to be added to my prompt board. As you can see on the left side, this will use. This means that I'm using this image as a reference, and I'm updating the the prompt. As you can see, he holds a walking stick style of an old martial arts master and now I got additional four images but I really don't like any of them so I'll press on the generate button again I removed the reference image and I got these photos I think they look they look better so let's add more um, words to the prompt and keep enhancing the prompt facing the camera full body and looking straight I like the one on the right side so I press on it to uh, use it as a reference again as you can see on the upper left box and 
This time I'll add some words to the prompt wearing big bold sunglasses and press on the generate button. This time the results are really good. I like the one on the left and I'm going to download it. Just press on the download button to download it to your computer. Next, I'm going to go to the Creative Fabrica platform to download um, a streetwear design bundle where I can use it to add some elements to my design. If you don't have uh, a Creative Fabrica account, you can click on the link in the, in the description which will provide you with nine free downloadable elements that you can choose by your own and you can download the same package for free. The next step is to go to Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to use my t-shirt design template. It's a template that I use to create design. It helps me to, to make the design process faster because it has fonts, color palettes, and some design elements. You will find some similar templates online, but mine, I've added some texture elements on the board and some uh, other elements to use. So the first thing is to do is, the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a background on a new layer, because my plan is to design on a light brown t-shirt. Then I'm adding another layer and play, I'll place the downloaded image that I have downloaded from Creative Fabrica Flow. By the way, the image is in PNG format, so we need to convert it to vector. So to do that, press on the image trace button and high fidelity photo option to convert the image to vector and keep all the colors as is. And after the conversion is complete, you can press on the expand button and then double click on the white background and press on delete to delete it. Now we have our main image that converted to vector. We can expand it or enlarge it without problems. Then I'm going to place one of the streetwear elements that I have designed, uh, that I have downloaded from the bundle. So I like this one, but I'm not going to use all the elements. So let's ungroup it and delete some of these elements. And let's move our old guy to the front. And I'm going to change some of the color. To do that, just pick on the element and choose the color picker and choose the color that you would like to, to, change, to change it to. Now, the following step is I went to Google and searched for some Japanese words. I wanted to, to add some Japanese words to the design. So I searched for images on pngwing.com. I copied some of these images as is using a snipping tool and I placed it on the artboard of my Illustrate just copy and paste on, a, on your artboard and again use the same technique to convert it to vector by pressing on the image trace button and this time you can expand the options button and press on the ignore color to remove the, the white color and then press on expand and you can change its color to white. I have also deleted some of the elements that I did that I did not use from the artboard or from the streetwear bundle. Thro throughout the process, I added a text, but later on, I decided to to change it or to completely remove it. I kept adding some elements to the board and converting them to vector and changing the color. I also used the ellipse tool to create a circle at the top and then using the shape builder I deleted the ellipse and the background to create 
a gap like so and then I added another circle in the middle I kept adding more design elements to the board then I duplicated the old guy and used the background copy I merged the background copy and converted its color to red and by using the path and of offset path button I created a sort of an offset path around the old guy I wanted to add like a stroke to it and then I added a black stroke and then changed its colors to white finally I added a texture to the whole design to do that simply group all the elements of your design go to the transparency panel open it and place your and place your texture inside and change its color to complete black to create this type of effect on the design to export the design just group all the elements of your design and press on file and export selection and choose the 300 dpi resolution and export your design in a, and this click on export selection make sure to add 300 dpi resolution for print and export your design to your desktop or to your folder that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and thanks for watching